Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to talk about the difference between odd and even functions when it comes to trigonometric functions, such as the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. What are they? Are they odd or even? To, re to remind ourselves, an odd function is a function such that when you replace the variable, the independent variable, by the negative, you would get the negative of the function. An even function is a function where if you replace the independent variable by a negative, you get the same function back. That's called an even function. So where does sine, cosine, and tangent fall? Well, if we take a look at the unit circle, remember the hypotenuse is equal to 1, and then the adjacent side right here, this is the cosine of x, or in this case I should say the cosine of theta, so the x value right here, so this is equal to x, and then this distance right here, so let me just kind of mark it up, and this distance right here, that would be equal to the sine of theta, which is equal to the y value, that's a bad looking theta right there. So that would be corresponding to the x and y value of that point right there, which the x value would be this distance right here, the y value would be this distance right here. Now, notice that if we take the sine of the angle, we get this value. If we get the sine of the negative angle right here, we get this value. So this would be the sine of the negative angle. Notice that you don't get the same value. You get the same magnitude of the value, but this is the negative and that's a positive value. So in this case we can see that if we replace the theta by negative theta, we get the negative of the original function. And we can see that simply by inspection. For example, if the y here was say uh, uh, 0.7, then here this would be a minus 0.7. The y is 0.5, negative, that would be a negative 0.5. So you simply get the negative value if we replace the theta by negative theta when we talk about the sine function. In that case, we note that the sine function is an odd function. In the case of the cosine, it's all different. If we take the cosine of the angle, we get this value. If we take the cosine of the negative angle, we get the exact same value. So there we can see that the cosine of the negative angle gives you the exact same value as the cosine of the angle. So we can write it like this, that the cosine of the negative angle theta is equal to simply the cosine of theta, and therefore this becomes an even function. All right, what about the tangent? Well, remember the definition of the tangent. The tangent of theta is by definition equal to the, to the sine divided by the cosine of theta. So therefore, if we take the tangent of the negative angle, that is equal to the sine of the negative angle divided by the cosine of the negative angle. And then, just like we saw up there, the sine of the negative angle is equal to negative the sine of the angle. The cosine of the negative angle is equal to the cosine of the angle. And so you can see that the sine divided by the cosine is a tangent, so therefore it becomes a negative tangent of the angle. In other words, the tangent of a negative angle equals the negative of the tangent of angle that makes the tangent also an odd function. So we can write that the tangent of the negative angle is equal to the negative of the tangent of the angle. And so therefore, this is also an odd function. So both the sine and the tangent are odd, and the cosine is an even function. And simply by inspection, we can see that the, that is so.